So Reacher's back, and how did they do with episodes one to two? How were they? Well, they were pretty good. So I'm going to be very positive, and they only have a few minor complaints. So what is occurring? Well, the structure is, this is a little bit like season one, where someone that Reacher is close to, he has in his personal life, is affected, and Reacher is going to get revenge. And I actually didn't mind the team up, even when it gets really bigger at the end of the first episode. I didn't mind that too much. I thought the guy who joins him is Deadpool. Basically, he's like a Deadpool sidekick. I was like, all right. Uh, and Deadpool was funny. I'll give Deadpool a lot of points. But I don't know. It felt very manufactured. But like, you learn a lot about Reacher through the flashbacks. But season one did it a lot better. It was way more organic way more natural it could have been done a lot better but again okay-ish so that was good but there was this one guy and he seems to be a villain guy he's really annoying and i get it we're not supposed to like this guy but that guy felt more like from a jason Bourne film breezy the way he was just killing people just moving around and i was like do you hope reacher sees this guy and really kills him and really enjoys killing him because he just felt However, they have a this guy who's opposing Reacher, and they do a few good jokes with him. And I don't want to spoil it. It was like, oh, that was really well set up. That was really well set up. I thought that was very interesting. Comes off as a very formidable opponent. That was well done. You have like one villain and one antagonist. The antagonist was well done. The villain, not so much. And the locations were very, very strong. Very, very excellent. Because I grew up in Pennsylvania, Jersey, New York. And I'm just going to use Harvard as an example. I've never been to Harvard, by the way, but I've been to Boston. And a lot of TV shows and films will say, yeah, we shot this in Harvard. Uh, yeah, we went, there, we went to this place. They definitely didn't go to those places. I've been to New York a lot of times. They're definitely not filming in New York. Here, they definitely filmed in New York. It definitely felt organic. So I give them a lot of points there, too. The location shots, very, very well done. The fight scenes, a little lackluster. And one fight in a hallway. Kind of pointless because the guy was clearly outmatched. He's not Superman and he can be defeated, but it's going to be hard. Yeah, the fights so far, not impressive. They were done way better in season one of Reacher. I was a little off, especially the dialogue. The dialogue was kind of clunky. I appreciate they're trying to keep fidelity because I've read a little bit of the Reacher novel. I don't know if this is what Lee Child wrote, but it felt a little bit off. It felt a little clunky, especially one moment when they face a difficulty. That felt a little weird, the way they're just using names and talking to one another. It felt felt very iffy and shaky. However, overall, very strong episodes. I am intrigued. I will say, though, the trailer spoils a little bit of episode one. The trailer did not spoil episode two. If you want no spoilers, don't see the trailer. If you don't mind being spoiled a little part of episode one, then yeah, you can see the trailer. Or see my review of the trailer, which spoiled nothing. So I was like, oh, okay. So they set up a very intriguing story. However, a few weak parts, but I will give it a 7.75 or 8 out of 10. Very strong, but a little bit of a drop in quality from season one. Sidelines while I do all the work.